So what I'm going to show you how to do right now is remove the cable so that you can replace the drum. Uh, the premise here is that you already have the cable in the drain and you need additional cable. So swapping out the drum becomes very quick and very easy. It's going to take a little bit longer here because I'm showing you how to do it. Generally in the field you can do this in about five or ten minutes. So the first thing we have to do is we're going to loosen the power feed and make sure it's disengaged so I can pull some cable out. At this point I'm going to go ahead and remove the cable. So at this point what you do is you have this what looks like a screw here. It's basically a pin that's notched out so that you can slide the cable in and out and I'll show you that momentarily. But what you do is you take this and you give it half of a turn. And then at this point you'll work that apart like that. The older style you have this half screw here where you turn it to the lock position to lock the cable in place or you turn it to the unlock position and that will let you slide the cable out through either side. So here we have the machine again and what we're going to do is remove the power feed unit. And you simply do that by loosening these two big thumb screws. Make sure that this is undone and you'll slide that out of the way. Now to remove the belt or disengage the belt going to do is right here we have this small tab. You can put the palm of your hand on it, push down, and simply disengage the drum. At that point you can get that out of the way. In the back of the machine we have this one bolt right here. You can grab, you can undo it one of two ways. You can either leave the stair climber in place, which it'll fit, or you can simply bring it up like I've showed you in the past. And what we will do is take that bolt straight out. That is the one bolt that holds the drum in place. Now we will lift the stair climber and we're going to lay the machine on its back. And at this point, push it out of the way so that it's not going to hurt you. You can grab this by the handles and you want to lift with your legs a little bit and just lift that straight off. Just like so. Your other drum will be loaded with cable and it will be the same process in reverse to uh, reinstall the drum. So at this point we're going to assume that this is full of cable so we will walk over the machine, center it on the post, and very carefully lift the machine up so that the drum doesn't fall off of that post. We'll reinstall the bolt. And now we'll turn the machine around. We'll pull some of the leader out and reinstall the power feed unit. Okay, on the top here we have this slot and what that allows you to see is the pulley on the electric motor to make sure that the belt is correctly installed on that pulley. Once you've established that, then you can go ahead and push this spring down again and you can start putting the belt in place. Don't worry about perfectly aligning the belt. As the drum spins, it's going to self-align itself. At this point, we're ready to connect our cable. And this is the older style, uh, which are still out there. I'm going to uh, show you the newer style here in a moment. So we will slide that into the coupling. Actually, I'm going to turn this a little bit. Make sure that this is completely in the open position. Slide that right in place. And then you'll lock that. You turn it around until the notch aligns with the L on the cable. 
and that's how you reconnect your cable. So here we're going to show the new style pin that we're using uh, as opposed to the screw that I showed you earlier. And the reason I showed you the old one is because there's still a lot of them out there. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert your coupling key in here and slide that through just like you would the other one. And that'll lock in place. You should always look to make sure that you can see the pin exposed. Uh, that makes sure that this is correctly locked in place. To remove it, you'll put your coupling key in there with the wedge facing the male side of the coupling, or the female side, I'm sorry, and then you simply just slide that away.